A very good afternoon. You're watching the Big Lunch Hour with me, Akshita. Uh, first up, few miscreants have set fire to a government high school in Shimoga after breaking open the locks. All the documents and materials which were kept in the office and classrooms have been gutted. The incident has raised eyebrows, especially as it comes just three days after the looks of our pools concluded in Karnataka. The school was used as a pool booth. The dog squad as well as the police have arrived at the spot and are investigating the matter. But so far, they haven't been successful in establishing the reason for the attack. So the speculation is that uh, maybe they were trying to get rid of some election-related documents. Considering that this particular school was used as a polling booth, it's definitely uh, created quite a bit of suspicion that maybe they were trying to go ahead and uh, uh, burn up some documents. So you can see there, uh, you can see quite a bit of papers have been set on fire. And uh, this was the scene in Shimoga at a government high school. It is understood that miscreants broke open the locks, uh, went inside and took all the documents and materials and set that on fire which is why several people stating quite clearly that maybe it was uh, to get rid of uh, some documents relating to the elections uh, several of the documents were still kept there post uh, the elections uh, and it looks like Ms. Crane's could have targeted the same Officials are uh, currently looking into that angle, considering that there was no other need to go ahead and create uh, such a mess inside a government school. Uh, as of now, they do not have any clue as to who is behind this particular uh, attack. But, uh, of course, uh, they have uh, pressed into service. They have also brought the dog squad along to maybe find out if there were any clues left behind by the miscreants. And villagers erupted in anger against forest officials as another man was trampled to death by an elephant in Tumkur. 53-year-old Narasimha Murthy was killed by a wild tusker when he stepped outside to answer nature's call. The villagers have made several calls to forest officials, but it has gone in vain. They have reported sightings of two wild elephants that have strayed from a herd of 12 and they claimed that when they did call in the forest officials, no action was taken and hence these villagers cornered the officials and questioned them with regards to what action they were planning to take to stop the elephant menace in their area. Well, uh, what we do understand is that the two elephants have been destroying crops uh, and today 
also resulted in a man's death which has triggered angry reactions. The officials are now trying to drive the elephants to uh, the Nelamangla forest. The operations are being headed by DCF Amarnath and ACF Devaraju. But it's definitely not an easy task at hand for the forest officials as well. Keep in mind that a lot of elephants have been straying into human habitat in the last many months and it has been difficult for them to go ahead and drive these elephants uh, away. Tumkur especially has been facing quite a bit of elephant attacks and these villages have always seen as an angry lot uh, claiming that uh, time and again they called on forest officials telling them that uh, these elephants were around, that there were two wild elephants in their area but no action was uh, taken. It was destroying all their crops and today resulted in the death of a man, 53-year-old Narasimha Murthy, who had entered uh, one field to attend to nature's call and was trampled to death by an elephant. And uh, let's listen to what one of the forest officials had to say about this incident as well as uh, the operation to drive the elephants into Nalamangla forest. <laughs> Illa in Munde Ariti Agdangali Melna the Kariglo Krama is there in a banana to quote Nantra than you could do the land together. Well, uh, that was one of the forest officials uh, trying to state quite clearly that they are doing whatever they can, uh, that they are planning to send it in a certain way uh, with a planned route. Uh, however, will it work according to plan is the question everyone's asking. It's been quite some time. We have seen uh, the officials trying so hard to drive these elephants away, uh, but it's not always been successful is uh, what we've seen so far. So many instances where uh, these elephants have uh, uh, entered human habitat and uh, they haven't been able to do much about the same. And well, mild tremors were felt in Kanakpura Taluk of Ramnagra district for about six to eight seconds this morning. People rushed out of their homes fearing an earthquake. The tremors were felt in Kerala Lusandra and Hegaluru villages. Cracks appeared on the walls of a house that belongs to a farmer. Well, uh, what we do understand is that several residents uh, in uh, uh, Kerala Lusandra and Higgaluru felt these tremors and rushed out of their homes. Uh, in fact, they all panicked, thinking that an earthquake had struck. Uh, but it only lasted for a couple of seconds. By the time they were out of their homes, the tremor had already ended. It was about six to eight seconds uh, that these particular people felt this tremor lost. Uh, no sort of damage being reported as such. Fortunately, these tremors were not uh, bad enough to go ahead and cause uh, house collapses or any injuries as such. It only uh, led to a couple of cracks uh, in houses, but nothing that will affect the foundation as such. Uh, so uh, a lucky escape for all the people there. Unfortunately, this particular tremor turned out uh, to only last for a couple of seconds before it could create any sort of real damage. Using muscle power and political clout, they battered toll gate staff, threw chairs at them, tried to vandalize the NHAI Toll Plaza equipment, and still got away scot free. The assailants, who have carried out frequent attacks on toll plaza staff at Brahmara Kutlu, remain at large with the Bantwal town police failing to arrest them despite the victims filing complaints against their assaulters.
as you can see on your screens there are more than enough evidence against the assaulters and uh, yet no action has been taken according to sources it is strong political support from a minister that has helped these assailants to carry on with their misdeeds without any fear sources also confirmed that the miscreants who attacked uh, these uh, toll gate officials on uh, april 15th were not paying toll charges and are wanted in various cases the locals organized a protest at the toll plaza in Brahmara Kotlu uh, yesterday, condemning the repeated attacks on the toll gate staff at midnight. They condemned the police department as well for not taking action against the assailants, even though there is enough proof in the form of CCTV footage. Repeated attacks over the toll gate staff has created fear among the workers. Sources state that a team of youngsters attacked the toll gate staff further at Satyaraj around 3 a.m. A complaint has been filed at Bantwal police station and Satiraj has been admitted to a private hospital. It is also said that the same group had attacked Girish, another toll gate staff, on April 15th. After the incident, a complaint was filed at Bantwal police station against Husseinar, Nouri and Siddiq. But unfortunately, no action was taken. The attack was repeated again last night.